Hey, this your boy Rock World, and you tuning in with Bag Talk Films. You dig? I I got my dude Rob, Rob World, in here with me. How you feeling today, man? Good, fam. Good, just chilling, vibing. <laughs> facts, facts. So how your tune tune been going so far? Uh, been going great actually, man. Um, knocked out two films. Um, filming. Um, about to get ready to uh release them, have a premiere for it. Um, both of them. One of them is actually gonna be premiered in the theaters, and the other one I'm gonna um do the first like movie premiere on Instagram. Oh, okay. So everybody you know that can't make it, but they can view it. Facts, facts. So and that's actually the first. So I'm talking about it with yeah, you. So yeah. you got the exclusive, exclusive. Right, <laughs> so right. yeah, so it's gonna be um it's gonna be pretty lit. Um working with a lot of good people, um, that boy funny, um, fast the barber. Oh yeah, I know, um, I know. Yeah, real. And shout out my boy T, uh, look at me winning, that's like my right hand. And um also my manager Keith Dorsey, yeah, we're working on like a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And also precious. Right. So, yeah. That's boy working. Yeah. Okay. So how old are you? Ah, uh, I'm 28. Everybody think I'm like 21, 24. But oh yeah. I'm 28. Oh yeah, you look, you look, you don't even look that old. Yeah, know. I know. I hate when people say that like after that age. Yeah, I'm 28. Yeah, they good though. Yeah, I got a lot of wisdom though, so I'm glad I'm making fate, it fate. right now. Wow. than when I was young, when I was young, I was stupid as hell. But yeah. Fake, fake. All right, so where you from? Born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, from the West Side, Adamsville, Zone Four. I went to Doug, um, graduated in 09. Okay, yeah. okay. So, what was it like growing up there? Oh, uh, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I didn't. I just stayed in the house, played games. Right. I was like, I was chilling. Chilling. Yeah, just chilling. Stayed out of the way, never did nothing. Okay. Didn't even go to the school, games, or nothing. I just to myself. Facts, facts. Yeah. I feel that. So, what was you mostly surrounded by growing up over there? Um, I stayed right across street from DC, uh, Young Fly, mm -hmm. and um, Money Bad Mafia. Um, you knew that, so you knew them when you was a young boy. Yeah, I seen I seen um DC, like uh, plenty of times before when I was young. But then when he um started oh my bad when he started popping off for Vine, um I did his first music video. I used to start doing music videos Thanks. and stuff. Um, I went by Rob HD. <laughs> But uh yeah yeah I did his first music video and um uh, one of one of his first music videos and um yeah that's how I met the boys but it was they pretty cool. Okay okay. Yeah. So how life was for you after you graduated high school? Uh just fun. Uh <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, just experienced a lot of shit. Um, yeah. I dropped out of Clark my first semester. My parents were mad about that. I had a full ride too, but mm -hmm. I just wasn't for me. Uh then I went to uh. Audio engineering school for audio engineering. Um, got my degree in that, and I don't know. I just started liking doing videos, and then I started doing um, music videos and editing and shooting, and then from there to here. <laughs> okay, okay. So, what inspired you to want to start shooting music videos? Oh, uh, okay. So I, I I used to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had everybody had that rapping phase. I used to be a rapper. <laughs> Uh, How old you was when you started trying to rap? Like 16, 7, 16, 15. Okay, uh, okay. When I wanted to rap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 15, 16 when I wanted to rap. And then on uh, West Five doing music videos. Uh, it was just some like quick money. Okay, and face. I was good at editing, so it was just like, okay, well, like, let me just put two and two together. Yeah, that's what I get this too. bag up, you know what I'm saying? No cap, that's what I'm on. No cap. So, who was the first camera you ever got? A Nikon D3100. I think that's what it's called, yeah. Yeah, it was a Nikon D3100. Uh, how you liked it when you got it? Oh, uh, it was great, man. It was, um, <laughs> it was like, it was dope. It was just like, oh my God, it was a fucking camera. Like, it was dope. Like, I mean, it made me money. So, it was just like, Fuck, it was just dope as hell. I was happy as hell when I first got it. Okay. Um, yeah, that was like my first camera. And my dad got it for me for my graduation gift for um graduating from SAE. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Alright, alright. So how you got the own customers to start coming in? You know you first thought uh you probably had no type of work. Nah, so so, like. so I had to do free shit. Uh Face. Yeah, everybody right. gotta do it. It's like it's like you can't, can't go around it. Look yeah. You can't go through with the hustle so 
Actually, but I did free shit by to people that was like bigger than me. Mm. So, um, you ever heard of like Rich Kid Shorty? Yeah. Um, his name Shorty Guy now. He went, he graduated with me in high school. Hey. So through mutual people, we did films with him. Then I was then Rich Kids, you know Rich Kids. Mm. They went to school with me as well, so I did films for them. Skits, me not skits, so. all. <laughs> Music videos for them, and then just kind of network from right like there. They right. saw that. And get in the door yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's up, bro? So, what do you label yourself as? Like, I know you do the Instagram videos. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, What I label myself as? I honestly don't label myself. I'm just I'm just a human being that know how to do dope shit. Right. Like, like that's me, bro. Like, uh, I'm a director first. Fake. Right. Uh, people, like, I'm a comedian. People say I'm a comedian, but I'm not. I, I don't consider myself a comedian. I don't just think I'm funny. I'm just, like, I just love doing stupid shit, and people just like watching it. True, so, true. <laughs> that's my philosophy. Um, editor, writer, uh, producer. Um, I got this technique where I just turn shit into gold, and it's been working for me ever since. Okay, you'll be surprised what people want to see. Yeah, yeah, like you know what I'm saying, like bro, you don't understand what people go through, what what makes it like behind the scenes to make something look good. You okay. know what I'm saying? And it's like really interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so what was your ultimate goal when you first started doing the Instagram videos? I didn't have none. I mean, I wanted to like still still want to like wanted to like. Started my own show like uh, Saturday Night Live or mm-hmm. like you know Mad TV, but it was just like something that was like I don't know I was going through a phase in my life where I was depressed. Yeah. Um, I just recovered from cancer. Oof. So I, and my yeah. grandma died from cancer like as I recovered. So it was just okay. I was mentally fucked up. So the only thing I did that it made me laugh was just doing stupid videos, and then I just leveled up naturally over the years. Mm-hmm. And I really just the success is just the side effect of something that I love that I love. Yep. And um that's pretty much it. Like I really didn't have no plan. Like I knew I was gonna make it, you know what I'm saying? Fact, but I just didn't I just didn't know how like technically mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. know just go. Facts, facts. Yeah. Alright, so how did your first video turn out? My first video. Um Damn, my first Vine, I started on Vine. My first Vine video went on World Star. Okay. And then, but I didn't ever, I never did good on Vine. I had like 15K on Vine. And then I stopped when I got sick. When I got sick, I switched back to Instagram. I started a group with this group called 44. Okay. So, with, uh, on Facebook, we was blowing, going viral. We get a million views on Facebook. Um, And then... I did one video. I never did see myself in front of the camera. I was like, I'm just gonna be like behind the scenes. Yeah. So with that being said, it was like, okay, well, um, I'm gonna just try one video, and it was like a rude ass video. It was like when a white person get mad or shoot up the school. Like it was like school shoot. Like when you cool with your when you cool with your white homie, mm-hmm. and he just get mad and shoot up the school. So. I did that. I was like in powder, like white face, and like none of the people in the group didn't want to be in the video. It was like this ain't this ain't gonna go nowhere. This is rude. This is like it was. What I'm saying, but only two people was down. Right. Three actually. It was me, DJ Marley, and T Money. That was the only people that was like down to help me film. Everybody else was like, nah, it's kind of too, too rough. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever. So I just filmed it. Bro, 27 million views on Facebook, bro. Damn. Alone. And it was just like, and then <laughs> my partner, Joker, he was like, it was in the news, like, every time you do a video, it just go up. And I was just like, nah, chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even like that. Hey. So, and so we kind of like just stopped because in a group, you want to do like, um, like everybody wanted to do their own thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, I, it's, and it's totally understandable. Like, I still got love for everybody That's in the 44. Like, it's no beef, no nothing. I still communicate with everybody. It's just that, 
but I didn't have no money. I didn't have no grind. I had to I had to do something that was gonna do for me, like before okay. I help anybody else. Face, that's and, true. Ain't nobody gonna make sure you straight like you. Is. Yeah, yeah. So I had to I had to grind. I had to I had to start from scratch. Like I had to start over with because we I built well we built the forty four page to like sixty seventy k on Instagram and I was at like seven k on my own page. So I just learned from the mistakes what I did. From the forty four, they just use it in my own, and then just working, networking, and just building. Faith, faith. Yeah, good plan. Okay. All right. So, how has your life been for you since you started getting the fan base? Oh, it's been good. Um, I never worked a job. I always hustled. So, but I just got to hustle. Not hustle. Let me put it this way. I can hustle. <laughs> I can't say it because I want to say it on camera, but I can hustle without. Worry if that yeah. makes any sense. Yeah, I guess. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's just like everything's still a hustle. It just it's in a different era. You know what I'm saying. A different level. Like new level, new double. You know what I'm saying. It's still gonna be the same bullshit. It's still gonna be the same. This, that, and the third. It's just now. Oh shit, I'm not worried. Like three, four years ago, I was literally worried about gas money. Now I'm just like whatever. Like it's not. It's like it's hey, hey. oxygen now. So that's a blessing. That's really yeah. a blessing. Just to even get from that level to this level, okay. that's a blessing. And I acknowledge that to the fullest. So, how I feel now, I feel blessed. Like, great. Um, still got, And I'm still, like, eager. I still got more to accomplish. Like, I'm not stopping. Okay. You know, I'm still hungry. Like, I'm, I'm working. <laughs> okay, that's supposed to be, though. So, how do your friends and your family treat you now that you, like, basically, basically... You want me to do before and after? You want to do before nothing? Yeah, do that. Okay, so before, only person who believed in me was my auntie mayor. She used to support anything. If I wanted to goddamn jump off a cliff, she will be right there with me. Look, I mean, she passed away like a year ago, a year or two ago. God rest her soul. But she was the only one that was like believing in me. My dad, he believed in me, but he just wanted to make money. My mom, she didn't understand. My granddad definitely didn't understand. Mm -hmm. uh, my granddad wanted me to work at FedEx. He didn't see nothing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and now that I did something with my life, they still can't understand, like, how is he doing this? They just can't, like, my auntie Dubber do, but my dad, he understands now, you know, because I'm showing money or showing, like, success. I'm not, like, up under him or I'm not, like, begging for money or I'm not, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, in a position where I was. So he, he sees it now. But my granddad, he um, he just don't understand, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm actually somebody now. And I hate to put myself in that category, but it is what it is, like. Can't put it no other way. Yeah, I, to me, I'm just a normal motherfucker, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just, I, li I like to get money, I like to chill, I like to stay low-key. Okay. No That's me. But, um, yeah, my family members, they treat me, they always treat me, like, with respect, but... They always, like, thought that I was going to be, like, the one that just fucked everything up. Like, I was the one that was just, like, the clumsy one, the one that, you know, didn't show up on time, mm -hmm. you know, broke something, mm -hmm. uh, like, <laughs> said the craziest stuff, like, jokes and stuff, and it, it, nobody didn't find it funny but me, you know, it was yeah, just like... Now you up. Yeah, yeah, now I'm up, and it's just like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, so that, that's how my family been treating me. But they always, you know, support me. Like, they always support me, but to a certain extent. Like, yeah. my granddad, he just didn't, he just like, he was just like, fuck it, you not gonna make it. He just, he said that point blank. Damn. You not gonna make Because at the time, I was driving his, like, at the time my car got repo, I was driving his Lincoln with the window busted out. And it was just like a total 360 right now, so... Yeah, so don't give up no matter what. Don't prove them right. Yeah. Uh, so how 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 it is now? How huh? now? It's good, man. Everything is good. I'm straight. I, like I said, I still got more to build. Okay. I can't get comfortable. Thanks. So I know you got a girl, but I got to ask you, how it feel to work with so many fine females? Oh, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to it. <laughs> it's like... I always been around beautiful women. Like that's just I, I hate to be like that, mm -hmm. but I'm not pressed for pussy, fam. Right. 
it's cool. Like most most of the females I work with, we like good friends. Like it's like my sister. They'll do anything for me. I'm like their brother. I do anything for them. Right. It's never like no, you know, like you know, like some sexual content. I mean, sexual. It's always sexual content, <laughs> but it's never no like no sexual like activities. Like yeah, I, I always keep that shit professional. Like that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um. So how you be getting the females in your videos though? Well, like I said, I started out doing music videos, mm -hmm. so I always use this method. You always use your resources if you can't afford nothing. So how I started off, I did a video shoot for a good friend of mine who actually helped me start it off branching my own thing, Jacoby. He owned a hair um, company called Bala Beauty. Mm -hmm. So he had a whole bunch of models. Now he's rich. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm this dude that's coming to his house with a, with a musty t-shirt, you know, sweatpants, yeah. and just a camera. Like, that's how they used to look at me. So it was like, he had like a whole bunch of females. So she was like, oh, you shoot. And then they noticed me from the skits. Oh, you be doing them skits. Because in the 44, I, we didn't work with other females. We only worked with like two females that was in the group. So when I'm on my own session, I'm going to work with everybody. So this girl, and she actually um famous now. She low-key famous. Her name Amy Luciani. Um, Sound familiar. Sound familiar. She got a boyfriend named Miles. Miles. They got the yeah. Amy Miles. Miles. She was in my, yeah, she was in my, one of my first videos that went viral on my own. Well, I mean, like, as Robbie World. Um, shout out to her, man. It was the first guy to go skit, too. Right. Um, so I met her through Jacoby at the modeling. So she said, anytime you do skits, just let me know. So I was like, all right, bet. You know, let's do it. So I asked Jacoby, and, you know, I built a relationship with him. He was like, hey, you know, I was like, hey, can I use your spot? Like, I don't got a spot. I'm still staying with my grandma. And I'm still staying at my granddad's house. I'm still staying in my dad's basement. Can I just shoot here? You know, it's convenient. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at the time, I only had, like, at that time, I only had, like, 20K. So he was just like, you know what? Just do some promo for me. I got you. Or just edit the video for free. It was one of them. He said, yeah, edit the video for free. Yeah. And I got you. I'm like, bet. So I invited her over and we filmed. It went viral. So then both females, um, so Jacob used to have a party, so... Most females just come over and he used to invite me and I just used to network. Like, I always got a good talk. Man. I'm like, hey, look, I'm shooting skits. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Let's work. Let's do it. Then when they post it, they female see it. Like, they female friends see it. Then they'll DM me or I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I got to 100K, I started DMing them. Facts. So they gonna and be like, oh, they got some clout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they feel. Yeah, that's how they feel because it, it, females don't gain on Instagram regardless. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just simple mathematics. It's it's just the way it goes. It's just like gravity. When you throw something up, it comes down. It's just like that. Females go up on Instagram. So yeah, I just started networking, networking. I always kept it business professional. Never tried nothing. You know right. what I'm saying? And I'm a strong believer in that. Like like if somebody on my team tried to try something, I'd be like, nah, like nah, I chill. That, yeah. No cap. Uh so how your girl feel about you working with so many females? It's it's mixed, but it's mixed reviews. Most of the time, she know. Like I, I just mm. do my girl to everybody. Yeah. So, um, but she know I keep it professional because mm. I was professional with her. Like she, sh that's how I met her. We started shooting skits, but we got cool outside of shooting skits. Okay. So, but she know I don't be playing. You know, like. I ain't trying to, yeah, yeah. I'm just really just doing it for the content. That's it. It's paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. So where did the phrase I gotta go come from? It like I said, it came from Amy Luciani. Me and her did a skit and she took a picture of a like pussy or whatever. Not on not 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 like for real, but like in skit, like yeah. acting. Okay. And she sent it to me and I was just like, I gotta go. I was with my fellas. You like, why you dealing with your girlfriend? She crazy as hell. Cause she was threatening to cut on my shoes and shit. So she sent me that on my phone in the skit. And I was like, man, I gotta go. I got to go. And then it just, just kept building and building and building. Mm -hmm. And I was just doing so. My friend, it was three people that told me to keep doing that. Gotta go. It was Keith, my cousin Quintavious. Shout out to Tay. Um, and <sighs> Richard. You love Richard. Yeah, shout out to you, love Richard. He on my team too. Like we teammate. That's my bro. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, them three. They was like, yeah, keep doing it, keep doing, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. So I was keep doing it. Oh, and Joker, my bad, Joker. Yeah. So we just keep doing it. We were just doing it. Then it evolved. Then me and Joker did like the third or fourth time. It was like we was at McDonald's or something. Then he was like, Rob, and I was like, gotta go. So that's where that come from. So. When I was editing, I was putting it like repeat, like I was just repeating it. I don't know why I was just repeating. It was like yeah, Rob, gotta go, Rob, gotta go. So at the end of every skit, I just say, you know, let me just take that sound bite and put it at the end of the gotta go skit. Right. So now I use it as everything: my movie production, my any skit I drop that's not gotta go, just anything that's me is Rob gotta go. So right, right. yeah. All right, so how long did it take you to start making money off social media? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Until I hit like a hundred k, cause I didn't know. Like I was just doing it for fun. Like, I was just like, okay, like whatever. Like right, you know what right. I'm saying? I was just like, okay, that's cool. I wasn't thinking like that's what, and that's what most people get. They come in thinking about the money. I was just thinking about the dream. I was just right. like, man, fuck it. Like you know. 100K, that look nice. So when I got to 100K, I got my first promo. It was from this app. And they undercharged me like fuck. But I was like, fuck it. I'm happy as hell. They paid me $75 to do a post. And I was like, I can make money from this shit. Like, I was happy as hell. I was like, hell yeah, let's run it. Fuck that. And it did it. And it just kept going on and on. And then I monetized through, like, promotions and using music in my skits. And it just like it just worked. It just worked out, and, and just doing other stuff like you know what I'm saying just pretty much just promotions and YouTube. And I started building my YouTube, and I'm getting a YouTube check. Hey. And I started building. Well, I had built the Facebook, and Facebook started monetizing. I'm getting that check, so it's just like all the way around. And then like you know what I'm saying then. I invest and then you know that you know what I'm saying yeah, money you gotta make your keep money coming make. in, bro. It's gonna yeah. keep coming in. And sometimes like don't like sometimes I be down, but sometimes I be up. Thing is, just save. Hey, that's what you gotta do. Okay, so what did you do with your first big check? I remember my day, my first big check. My first big check was like a thousand dollars. Oh yeah. I. So the thing was, I was like, you know, I need a car. So my dad, he got like a lot of cars, but he didn't think I was making money from this shit. So when I got my first thousand comma check, I was he was like he was he said it's like two months or a month before he was like if you give me a thousand dollar down and pay the car note, I will give you this. It was like a two thousand at the time, like fifteen, sixteen Toyota Avalon. That's like the big body motherfucker. Mm -hmm. It's basically a Lexus with a Toyota on it. Yeah. But it was like dope Bluetooth everything, right? I said, here go the cash. Where the keys? I just spent it. I said, fuck it. I'm finna spend, I'm finna spend that check. And I got the keys. I was happy as hell. I picked up everybody. I dropped off my granddad's car back at his house. Like, granddad, I don't need your car no more. Got my own now. Woo! Hey. So, got that. So then, I got the car. And then, like, oh, two, three months later, I was like, shit. And then I'm making some more money. I'm like... Well, shit, I need a what? I need a, I need my own crib. Fake. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I had a crib. And that's the thing, scariest thing, too. Like, I like I was in a position where I was skeptical about moving out on my own because it was like, bro, I really got to be responsible for rent. Okay. But trust me, when you get that responsibility, you're going to find a way to make that money you or you're going to get kicked out. So I just found a way. Like, God been buzzing me for like two, three years now. So I've been finding a way to make rent. So, yeah. Fake, fake. All right, so when people recognize you in public, do they expect you to be all funny and all that? Yeah, like, sometimes I'm just a cool dude. I'm just, like, cool. I don't be doing the most. Yeah. Some people be expecting me to do the most. Like, hey, what's up, bro? I like, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> chill, I'm just out man. here just trying to get some ice cream. You know, just chill. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But I'll take pictures. Like, I love when people take, ask me to take pictures. I'll take pictures with them. But they'll, they'll come up to me. And just try, sometimes they'll try me, and I'll be like, bro, like, <laughs> I will give you these hands. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, All right, so how you be coming up with ideas for your video? Life experiences. Just give me an example of one video. Yeah, okay, like this video I did about eating ass, right? 
I <coughs> and she farted on my face, shit on my face. It was a situation that happened before. She didn't shit on my face, but it did. A little fart came out, and I was just like, okay. Never doing that again, buckaroo, you know? So. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> so, the girl that fought in your face in real life, she ever looked at that post and felt some type of yeah, way? Yeah, she did. But I didn't say nothing about her, but she. Yeah, she, yeah. She just she laughed. She knew what it was, though. Yeah, she just laughed. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, so you eat ass, though? Uh, nigga, I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> I do what I gotta do. I don't need to be eating anybody ass, yeah, but yeah, you know, I only ate like what two female asses and no male asses, so two asses in total. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you reach out to other people that do what you do? Yeah, all the time. Um, I love collaborating. Collaborating that what makes you grow. You know what I'm saying? Right. Never thank you the big dog. That's for right. to say. Never thank you the big dog. I always collaborate. I collaborate with people that's higher followers than me, lower followers than me. Um, Cause you may never know. Like Instagram may be gone tomorrow. Like TikTok, that's the new wave. Like I'm building on there. I'm working with some influencers that don't got nothing. They don't got shit on Instagram, but on TikTok they booming. But you still got to network with them. You know what I'm saying? You still got to reach out to them. Reach out. Tell them you don't like. Especially when they're con- like, I'm not saying reach out to them for them. Cause I only reach out to people who I think is funny. Okay. Or who makes me laugh. So, if you make me laugh, I'll be like, bro, you this is funny. You know what I'm saying? Keep it up. And then they'll be surprised. Like, some people will be surprised. Bro, I've been following you my whole life. You really think I'm funny? Yes, nigga. Keep going. Like, okay, that shit is funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be like, bro, i give anybody a shot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Especially when they funny. You know what I'm saying? Um, And I just love, because you guys saying, you got to look out for them young niggas. Young niggas winning, bro. Too, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can't be doing this shit forever. Like, I want to get somebody to take my mantle. You know what I'm saying? We're okay. build, we building the team. But, you know what I'm saying? People don't see it like that. People always see themselves first. You got to open your... You, you, bigger than, you bigger than the bigger picture. Thanks. I mean, you smaller than the bigger picture. Thanks. Yeah. Everybody playing a role in position. We can all come together yeah. and support each other. Okay. And everybody got to be willing to play the team. Like, play any part of the team. Like, sometimes... T money, like most of the time, half of the time really, T money filming. I'm recording. He, if I'm recording, he film. It's just, it's just what it is. Face, face. Uh, so you ran, you met any um the celebrities that you met, like that you reached out to. Uh-huh. Was they, like, not what you expected? Some. Some was cool. Some knew me. Uh, like Ray Schmern. Mm-hmm. Uh, Slim Jimmy, we like bro. Like, I called him, actually, when I was in Miami. Answer the phone and everything. I still can't believe it. Like, bro, like, yo, what's up? He's like, hey, pull up. I'm like, all right, bro, you know, it's cool. <laughs> but I'm the type of person, I never, like, dick ride. Or I never, like, get like, excited about people. Unless it's, like, somebody. If it's Drake, I'm fanboy. That's, like, the best artist. Like. Or Juice World, But R.P. him. Huh? I would have, bro. I would have loved that Juice World. That's my favorite. Hey. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't just like, you know, some people are assholes. I'm not going to name no name, but you know who you are, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I'm not going to name no names. Um, yeah, some people are assholes. Some people are uh, humble as hell. Some people you would never un- like, like, okay, Daniel Jean, you ever heard of him? Nah, what he do? He, um, he, he was like the driver. In New York, he used to film with Fat Boy. He's still filming with Fat Boy SEC. He be dragging people, picking them up, throwing them down. Like, why are you doing this? He, he, like, he, he got this whole shit. He got like 500K. But I filmed with him, the most humblest guy ever. Gentle giant. Like, he swole. He even throw me against his Escalade. And he blamed me for the dent. But he threw me in there. But he's just the most gentle person like he just like the most humblest person ever like i'm like damn bro hey. like i like that and then oh. one more person um marlon well now that's when i was coming up i wanted to meet marlon because that was the only person that was like up there mm-hmm. that made me laugh like i'm not gonna say what i feel but he was the only person that made me laugh hey. his shit was raw he didn't give a fuck so when i met him i ain't okay i was nervous i was like Hey, what's up? You know, you know, yeah. can we film? He was like, sure, bro, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he got like a dark sense of humor. It was just like, it was, 
just how I imagined it. <laughs> it, it. It was just that though. It was like he's humble, he's cool, he's crazy. You know what I'm saying? He got dark humor jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like he kept. You know what I'm saying? It was just everything I was expecting. I was like, that's what's up. Fake, fake. Alright, so you got any comedians that you haven't collabed with yet that you would like to collab with? Yes, like. I want to collab with Dave Chappelle. Yeah. That's like my favorite comedian. I definitely want to collab with like uh, Kevin Hart. His work ethic Fix. is fucking amazing. Like, okay. can't even doubt him on that. Um, King Batch. I still haven't met him or worked with him. Um, but yeah, I like to work with him. And um, that's pretty much And some more people. But Fix, Fix. it is like, I'll collab with anybody that make me laugh. <laughs> Alright, all right. so how do feel to be worth 94 million? Uh, 94 million? Where they say that? <laughs> hey man, look it up. Stay worth 94 uh, million. I'm not worth 94. You don't have my few with my dad. I don't, I'm not worth no 94. Probably 94 dollars, but I got a 94 million. I'm yeah. broke, baby. <laughs> Look, yeah, that's what, the, that's what the internet's saying, my dog. Boy, they let the internet be saying, yeah. <laughs> I am not no 94 million yet. Fake, fake. But, yeah, so. <laughs> hey, so how you respond to haters? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't. Like, sometimes, because I got a dark sense of humor. Mm -hmm. So I'll be like, bro, your mom going to die from cancer. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I get disabled from that, so I just don't respond. Fake, fake. My girl, though, she responds to everybody. Like, she don't, she don't give a fuck. fuck. She don't give a fuck. Try to love baby. <laughs> that that love, but um, what you like most about what you do? S freedom, the freedom that I can do what I do, you know. Fake. Um, and just I don't know, making other people laugh. Like, like I really did this, so I won't be depressed. You know what I'm saying? Fake. Um, I didn't see it as nothing. I mean, I did, I seen it as something, and you and and everybody like. Bro, nobody don't got the right plan. If you tell God your plan, he gonna laugh at you. He already got the plan right now. Right. So you don't know the plan. You just know you gonna get from point A to point B. You don't know how. You don't know what twist and turn. You don't know if your car gonna get flat. You don't know mm -hmm. if your car gonna blow up. You gotta take the bus. You don't know. All you gotta do is just keep going. Facts, facts. All right, so what all have you traveled? Uh, uh, Costa Rica. Um, Bahamas, LA, New York. I'm about to go to Chicago. Um, I'll be in Miami. That's like, I moved actually for three months. Um, but I'll be in and out of Miami like crazy. Yeah, it's lit out there. Tell it's lit out there. Tell it's just, it. what, me staying in Miami? Yeah, or just Miami. Miami. Uh, Miami is pretty cool. Uh, it's just like Atlanta with a beach and palm trees. Basically. It just, um, they just got some good, this is good vibe. This is good vibes. Good vibes. Yeah, I bet, bro. I need to get, get out of there. Yeah, it's good to see. Like, it's good to really, like, see a different... Like, especially if you don't travel a lot. Miami is just, like... I always tell anybody, that's the first place to go. Right. If you travel, okay, they give you, like, the culture difference. Like, they got Haitians, Mexicans, Dominicans. Like, it's different, like, culture. Russians. And it's just certain shit you don't see in Atlanta. And you see in Miami. And it's just a different vibe. Yeah, hey, it's always good to travel other places and shit like mm -hmm. that. Uh, so what you think, to you, in your opinion, what has been your biggest accomplishment so far? Filming my first movie. That was, like, one of my biggest accomplishments. And got an award for it, too. Um, yeah. For the Las Vegas Black Film Festival. Fake. I think that was my biggest accomplishment. Not the award, but just actually film, finishing yeah, it. Yeah, because you said your first dream was really to be a director, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just getting in, like, in the 44, we tried to do a movie, and... It failed. People didn't take it seriously. People didn't show up on time. Mm -hmm. People were just like, we just didn't really just take it seriously. And we didn't have the resources. So we were really making a multi-million dollar budget with like $5,000 or $2,000. And that was like all my money. Like nobody else was helping me with the money. Yeah, yeah. And then I still had to pay stuff afterwards because I wasted other people's time. And then I was just like, well, I thought you were going to do this. Help me out. If people did me dirty. Like, well, no, nah, you still waste my time, da, 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 so I need this much money, da, da, da. and I did help pay for this, da, 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 da. and I'm like, I thought we was a team. 
Yeah. And that's one thing I had is like, like no, like business is business. So I paid her my money. I was like, look, here go my money. Um, you know what I'm saying? Don't call me. <laughs> like, yeah. like real talk. Like if when I blow up, cause I knew it. I didn't know I was gonna blow up. I knew I was gonna be famous. I knew I'm still, I'm still gonna be famous. I just knew it. I knew it in my heart. Okay. Like. I knew I was gonna be somebody. So don't treat me like don't the one thing it is, if you business up front, then let it be business up front. But if you like, oh yeah, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm like your sister. Like yeah, that. Yeah, like then it's like cash, yeah. it's like, okay, well then you straight to business. I respect it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if it wasn't like no name, because everybody wanted to use the 44 name, because the 44 was like it back then. Like it was yeah. the big name. And I was like, nah, let's just build our own name. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to build my name or my name as a director. Right. And they just, they, they was like, well, you know, since it's not under 44, it's not going to do good. Well, I'm like, fuck it. Like, let's try it. So it failed. Had to pay out of pocket to some bitches. Um, nah, I'm just playing. You can cut it out. I really don't care. But it had to pay out of pocket to some people, and then, and then it was just like, and it's money that I didn't have. Now I think about it, it really wasn't that much. Yeah. It was just money that I really didn't have. Like, I was in a negative. I still owe people all of this camera. Right. Um. So yeah. So just make sure everything get everything you're right. Okay. Got to. Got to. All right. So who was your favorite video? Your Instagram video that you worked on in 2019. 20, 20, Favorite video I worked on? Yeah, Instagram video. Ooh, that's a tough one. All of them? <laughs> all of them. I love all of them, man. Can't choose one. I love all of them. Facts, facts. All right, so what are your goals for 2020? Um, uh, goals for 2020. Um, make five movies. Facts. Um, I don't know why I keep saying um a lot. <laughs> Make five movies. Make sure my team went in. Yep. Get, get, get a blue, get, get a house. Blue, yeah, get a house. Get a blue check. Get a um, million followers. Get a cover on the magazine. Yeah, There's yeah. a couple goals. Yeah, you are, you almost to a million too. I'm almost man. It's hard too. It's like that's like the hardest level ever. Face. Yeah, it's like as soon as you get right the 900k, it just stop. No care. Yeah, it just stop. Like you just can't do nothing about it. All right, so I want to ask you. I re I see you don't you don't got a blue check on Instagram, but nah. niggas that got less followers than you got blue checks. Mm -hmm. So what's up with that? How can you don't got your blue check? I don't know. You gotta ask Instagram about that. I don't know. Yeah. I heard some folks be asking for. Blue. I've heard you like you get a like a. Apply you for you a can't apply check. for a blue check. I applied for it like three, four times, and they just deny me. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, they trip. Oh, man. The people love you. Yeah, and like. But <laughs> I just look, man. I just don't want my shit get deleted. So hey, yeah, if I don't get a blue check, I don't get a blue check. Man, I'd rather dance at the way to do Yeah. Bro. I'm like, bro, just you know what? I don't even want to tempt it. <laughs> Alright, so what advice you got for people trying to make it on social media? Make sure you're doing something that you love. It's a girl out there make got a millions, millions of followers doing fucking hair. Do something you love. Don't do nothing because you see me or somebody else doing comedy skits and you think you can do it or you think right. you're funny. Um, Cause let me tell you something. I know I'm not funny, but I don't care. As long as I, you gotta do it for yourself. You gotta make yourself laugh. Right. And if you believe in yourself, it naturally people will see, find it funny. Cause okay. people can find humor in anything. So Thanks. when you do it for yourself and not just doing it just to have like I hate this I hate it. and it's no shade thrown maybe it's just a little bit but <laughs> I hate when people get like girl like okay I'm the one that started not started but I maximized it to having girl females in skits mm -hmm. like that's what I'm known for right. having bad girls in skits but the reason why I do that because before I started. People just using females just eye candy. I actually let them act. I let them have dialogue. I let I tell a story. Right. So and they twerk a little bit, yeah, because uh -huh. of Instagram. But some guy they just have the girl just straight twerking, and no, the skit don't make sense. It's just yeah. okay, the girl's twerking. I'm right. gonna like it because the girl's twerking, <laughs> not okay. because you're funny, because the girl's twerking. Okay. And I just be like, I be looking at that. I be like, dang. 
I just be like, true. I just, I just be like, yeah, that's that's good. I just be like, like, and then dudes want to collab with me that do that, and I'm like, I don't kind of do that. I like actually kind of make mini movies, like with my, it's just sexual. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey yo, this your boy Rock World. I just chopped up this interview with Bad Talk Films. It was lit. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and slap that notification bell. You did.